I am a workaholic, right? I make excuses on why it's okay for me to keep working. There is not a thing called work-life balance. <laughs> because I'm passionate about writing code and learning things, especially learning things, I tend to spend a lot of time uh, figuring stuff out. And so that often caused some problems in my personal life. Well, let's say work-life balance-wise, um, I only care about work. Mm -hmm. So life, uh, home, home life was whenever I decided to go home. <laughs> but I was, then I'd watch movies or whatever, but I, you know, sometimes I would even make stuff at home, like mm -hmm. with code at home as well. Because, I mean, I was used to that. I was having to go to school, and then after school I got to make games. I'm doing that at home. So um, I was super used to always spending my free time coding and making stuff. So when I got into relationships and everything, I would we'd go, you know, go to movies and stuff like that. But mainly it was, I got to make another game. I got to keep, keep on working on the game I'm making. So for me, I can definitely admit that I never get the eight hours of sleep at night that doctors recommend. Sometimes when I'm coding and I'm in the middle of solving a problem, it's very hard to walk away. So there are times when I come home at night and I'm on my computer trying to figure out or solve this issue. So for me, it's, it's, a, it's a, a really around the clock. I, got, I, I have kind of a weird answer to work-life balance questions. Here's, this is when I feel like I'm working. I feel like I'm working if you and I went somewhere and I have to talk to somebody who doesn't understand what I do and I'm in a social situation where I'm trying to exist among people who, who don't understand what my job is like. That feels like work to me. I just enjoy what I do a lot and I'm, and I'm trying my best for my personal life because I don't want my wife to, to have to be alone as often as she is because I'm upstairs staring at a screen. But yeah, it's a challenge. I mean, definitely you can, uh, I don't know, it's easy to suddenly miss a, miss a meal because you're, you know, because you're coding, right? And so thankfully my kids don't let me do that. They come and kick my, my chair at least. I got all this stuff that I want to do and I was always very careful to uh, make time for my boys. But when it came to uh, my first wife, uh, she liked to sit around and flip channels on the TV and that was just how she wanted to unwind and she wanted me to participate. Uh, I would come in with my laptop on the couch and sit next to her, but then I wasn't paying attention to her and I wasn't paying attention to what she was doing. And it helped us grow apart. I'm, uh, I, I said first wife for a reason. She's not my current wife, she's my ex-wife. And um, I uh, learned over time to, to do a better job kind of separating my family from my work and which is also my hobby and to and to be more present when it comes to my relationships and to put that kind of time in because I know the consequences of not right throughout this my entire career it's always been I can't believe somebody's paying me to do this because I enjoy it so much right um but secondarily uh, my family is very good about reminding me that, you know, hey, you know, I haven't got any attention or, hey, we need to do this or, you know, so it keeps me grounded. Um, I don't actually I wouldn't know where I would be if I didn't have my family to kind of keep me centered because I would probably go full tilt into tech and it'd be 24 seven. I do my best to really, you know, give my kids and my family the focus um, when I get home. But then like once they're in bed. Yeah, that's it. I'm on my computer. There was a point when my daughter was in preschool and she wrote a story that said, once upon a time, there was a man who came home while his daughter was still awake. And that, that one woke me up. So I put that on my door to my office and went home.